Hi guys, it's actually turning into a pleasant day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization in the soon-to-be locked down town of Austin, Texas, here on uh, Wednesday, March 18th, 2020. And this is Sam Mitchell of Collapse Chronicles. But this week, guys, as you probably know by now, we're uh, doing a special series here, the Coronavirus Chronicles, where I am bringing back on the show a wide variety of my guests and we just had Karen Schrag on the program uh, very recently. Go be sure you go listen to that whole interview and you can hear two more of uh, Karen's fine poems but we're going to bring poet Karen Schrag on to Coronavirus Chronicles. So Karen come on and say hi. Hi, Sam. How's it going in Texas? Uh, so far, Mad Max has not quite reached my door, but it's, it's making its way. I'm sure the uh, National Guard is, is uh, pulling out the battalions as we speak. But anyway, so we have a special treat. So uh, Karen has, she has penned a new poem, an, an ode to the coronavirus. So for her participation in the Coronavirus Chronicles. Karen Schrag, come on and read us uh, what is the title of your new poem and let us hear it. Take it away. It is called Under the Microscope, Ode to the Coronavirus. All right, let's hear it. From under the microscope, you entered our discourse, disrupting our lives, inflaming our paranoia, leaving pain and an eerie stillness in your wake, and grave diggers well employed. Yet in your ironic invisibility, without scientific credentials, without a Twitter account to call your own, you seem to be achieving the radical shift climate activists have been shrieking about, <laughs> overpopulation folks have been warning about, scientists have been publishing about, you accomplished getting our collective attention so fast it made our heads spin and our portfolios flutter. Your voice has become the loudest one in the room, silencing the banality none of us knew how to turn off. While activists have been trying to do for years with reason pleas, films, books, and protests, you are achieving in just weeks of terror we weren't able to knock the Ponzi scheme out of Wall Street sales or stop our love affair with crowded places, factories from spewing, or planes from flying. But you are halting our carbon-loving ways, stopping growth in its wildlife-killing tracks in ways those not asleep at the wheel could only hope for. You leave us frightened and deeply saddened that our humane tools of compassion Science and reason were so weak compared to your grim reaper ways. There you. you go. I think that is the finest ode to coronavirus I know that I have heard. And uh, I'm sure it will stand a, 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 as a classic of the 21st century that, that future <laughs> historians will, will dig this up from the rubble and, and try to figure out what was this coronavirus thing that, that mentioned in this poem. But Karen Schrag, we really, really appreciate this. And guys, as I say, for, uh, for, for more of, of Karen's poetry and a full hour of uh, of a lively conversation. Look up our conversation and please tune in to more Coronavirus Chronicles coming up on Collapse Chronicles. Uh, Taryn Trog, thank you very much for your for your work. I want to shake my gloved hands. That's that's appropriate. <laughs> yeah, so with your with your gloved hands. Keep up the good work, Karen. You too, Sam. Take care. Uh huh. Bye, guys.